Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Mikulowski from FlorexLive.com. This is a Kickstarter video. Today's date is May 3rd, 2024. Uh, in this Kickstarter video, I take a look at three major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar, dollar versus yen, and sterling versus U.S. dollar. And it happens to come after the U.S. jobs report, which was weaker than expectations. We saw earnings go up only 0.2% versus 0.3%. We saw the, the uh, non-farm payroll uh, rise by uh, much less than expectations at 175 versus uh, 243 expected the unemployment rate to uh, take tick up to 3.9% uh, from 3.8%. So let's get started by taking a look at the euro versus US dollar. All right, looking at this uh, currency pair, the market uh, soared to, uh, to the upside here, breaking above the uh, uh, 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart in the process, breaking above the 50% retracement of this move down from the March high to the March low. This is a 2024 high, by the way. So this is a trading range for the year. Uh, and as you can see, the price is uh, currently trading right around that 50% retracement level after breaking above uh, this other swing area as well. Uh, the swing area comes in between 1.07. Uh, I guess it's uh, somewhere around the 95 level up to the uh, 1.0803. And all these levels have significance uh, to me. Uh, the 50% retracement is a, someone might consider a close risk level if we can stay above that level or a close barometer. Let's say the market's still trying to work through this, but the uh, volatility from the data release. The, uh, that level comes in at 1.07906. If we stay ab above it or have uh, have moves away from it, that would be more bullish. If we start to trade a little bit more to the downside uh, and we are uh, tick ticking below that level right now, we could see a more uh, probing to the downside here for this uh, currency pair. That probing you know, has support down near the 107.60 level. I wouldn't necessarily say it's it's going there right now. This is, again, we're in this uh, uh, the. Uh, period where the market is uh, trying to figure out uh, which way it wants to go go but uh, be, be aware of that that uh, we could see some more liquidation down to the 60 level in which case we should see some support buying near that level on the top side get above the 1.08036 level again uh, and uh, this time we could see a uh, further momentum with the 61.8 percent retracement and the 100 day moving average as the next uh, key target on the top side again the u.s data was a little bit more goldilocks and uh, lowering the number of jobs and also higher unemployment rate. That unemployment rate, Fed Fed chair sort of hinted at that four percent was kind of a bogey level that the unemployment rate would have to get above uh, in order for the Fed to think about uh, starting to ease rates. So be aware of that. We're not quite there yet, but it's getting it's uh, getting closer. Take a look at the dollar versus a yen, and we take a look at th that. Let's uh, put it on the four hour chart. Uh, first and uh, what you can see is that the uh, price that came down to this area right through here this uh, this area uh, near the 151 90 ish type level is a key level a key level for the uh, dollar versus yen why uh, well uh, just looking at this uh, four hour chart you can see the number of different highs that came into that that area right through here before breaking to the upside and, and running all the way up eventually to the 160 20 level so that's a uh, point number one Point number two, if you go to the uh, uh, daily chart, actually I'm going to go to the weekly chart and go back in time and look at the high prices from 2022, 2023, and this, these are those high levels that we just saw off the four-hour chart in 2024. So we had one, uh, uh, three years uh, ceiling near the 151.91-ish type area for this uh, currency pair. And lo and behold, the price came right down to that level, and, and we're seeing a little bit of bounce off that level. So be aware of that level. That level is going to be a key key barometer, uh, not only for uh, today, but uh, going going forward. Uh, the uh, price, uh, well, it didn't do too well. But the uh, if the price were to go below that level, and uh, we could see some further liquidation in dollar versus yen as the market uh, and the Bank of Japan successfully successfully defends the 160 level uh, and rotates uh, back to the down downside or potentially uh, to the downside. We got to stay below that uh, that uh, uh, that old high level, however, uh, however that old ceiling level. Uh, by the way, the 38.2 comes of this uh, last move to the upside from the 2023 well December low to the high price. Uh, comes in at 152.58, and that might be close resistance uh, in trading here today. So be aware, be prepared for that level on the downside. The 50% midpoint of the two th of the move to the upside comes in at 152.26. Those are longer term le levels to think about for the dollar versus yen. But so far, key support is holding against the old ceiling in the dollar versus yen. Finally, let's take a look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar, and uh, we'll look at the four-hour chart uh, like we did for the euro in this uh, currency pair. And the uh, price uh, uh, soared ahead of the 
uh, 200 bar moving average in the four hour chart and the 200 day moving average. That's uh, good news. We also uh, moved above the 50% retracement of the move down from the uh, high price that we saw in, uh, well, the high price for 2024 to the low price that we saw in 2024. That level comes in at 152, 125.957. We're currently trading right around that level uh, at 125.99 as we speak. Uh, so, or as I speak. Uh, so, that is going to be a, a key key level for the uh, the uh, currency pair as well. Recall as well. Uh, remember this box right here. This box uh, encompassed the uh, what I call the value area for the sterling versus euro star over a number of trading weeks. Yes, the market moved above above and below this level on a, on different occasions uh, through here and above here and even above here but most of the uh, price action was within this area right through here until we uh, broke below that level about uh, three or four weeks ago and uh, extended all the way down to the 122.98 level on that momentum now we're back up up and uh, guess where we're uh, testing we're testing the low of that value area right near the 125 uh, 95 ish type level so uh, <laughs> be aware of that level as a barometer for this uh, currency pair on the top side we have the 100 day moving average coming in at 126.44 as a level to get to and through to increase the bullish bias on the top side and uh, put this up, put the uh, pair more in the value area that we just seems like we just left, but it was about three or four weeks ago. So that's my technical look at the uh, three major currency pairs after the U.S. jobs report. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune to your training. Bye bye now.